Black Panther has been giving you gifts. <laughs> ah. Your painting water is ready. And to learn new ways of doing things. Look at him. You are five seconds. You are five Are you now farmers? Eh? We're just taking this shorter footpath to check our traps. Uh, <laughs> but that go well then. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, go well. There's something in your voice when you speak of her. Just tell me what exactly you're thinking about her. Well, I think you really like the girl. Like the girl? What would you I can feel it in my blood. That girl, Awero, is going to be my next wife. I felt it ever since I saw her dancing at the festival. You know how it is now. You see an, an animal in the forest. And even before you raise your gun to aim, you know that that animal is going to dance in your soup pot that very night. Mm, <laughs> I know what you mean. But what have you told me since? And you, your new wife at home now, Abeke. Didn't you almost pay that bite price before you told me about it? Uh, well, I have to be sure, of course. <laughs> that is what I'm telling you now. I'm sure I will know now. Uh, so, what are you waiting for? Look, since we are going to be drinking with my uncle tonight, later tonight, let's tell him to start working on it. It was the intermediary between Abeke and us, remember? Yes. And he was very I know Uncle Okurede is a very good intermediary, but I don't think, I don't think we, should, we should rush it. Even our I'm not going to worry yet. I mean, face to face. You, you have not even spoken with the girl? Um, yes, I, I mean, I never had the chance. Remember that immediately the girls finished dancing at the festival. It was Wonder's turn to perform. And by the time we finished, they've all disappeared. I'm not seen her since. Oh, bro. Or did you what kind of a hunter are you? You allow your beautiful antelope go? You think other hunters will come to ask your permission before shooting it down? So, so, what are you saying now? Uh, I won't be surprised if Lapade is right now paying that girl's bride price. Even Lapa. as we speak. Lapa. Yes, Lapade. Lapade, the ghost me. Lapade, Lapade from Aku village. <laughs> Who owns a shop <laughs> at Takbe Market? <laughs> I saw him talking to Aweru at the festival.
other day and his family are already prepared for the wedding. You just stop laughing about this. I am not laughing. Lakpadi. But how could any girl agree to talk to Lakpadi? Lakpadi with his big round eyes like that of a lorry? His big chest like that of a sick guinea fowl? How could, could Awero talk to Lakpadi? He has only one leg. Okay. He only lives with one leg. What is the difference? He has only one leg. He lives on one leg. What's the difference? The difference is Lapade has spoken to Awero. You have not. What do I do now? My uncle Kuede. Let's ask him to help us find out if Lapade or any man has been to see Awero's parents. If no man has seen Awero's parents, then your antelope is still alive and well in the bush. It is now left for you to put oil and powder in your gown. Then let's go and see your kukurede. Are you mad? Are you mad? Tell an elderly farmer to leave his work on Koko Farm and do love talk. And then let's go to his home right now. The trap. He said he wants to go and check them. Forget that. I'm after a different animal now. Tagulavi! <laughs> Please, could you help me wake this man up? Is it true that you are sleeping? I am thinking. Thinking? If you think from now till the moon comes out, even if you go home to go and call your two wives to come and help you think, you will lose this game. <laughs> Here I go. See that? See this grown up man playing like a, a, a seven year old baby. Just play. Uh, our elders say that. He who brings pan wine to your house should be treated with respect. Lawi, if it weren't that your pan wine we are drinking, I will make one move now to end this game right now and make you as impotent as the youngest palm tree in your farm. <laughs> Please, beg this man to lock his mouth and play with his hands. I had wanted to have pity on you before, but now, uh, all of you, watch this move very well. You need to remember it when you are teaching your grandchildren how to play Ayo game. Mm -mm. Uh, thank you. <laughs> ah, Adiwu, what is it? What happened? Government people, the tax collectors, I just saw their lorry by the stream. They are coming here. <laughs> Was it not just this last week I heard you asking that man if he had paid his tax? Oh. Akiwale, uh, you too. Uh, how many baskets have I sold this year to think of paying tax?
you sure you don't know him? I know him. I saw him looking at me as we danced during the last festival in Orile Eleri. But he was looking at other girls too and he did talk to me. He wants to talk to you now. And he didn't tell you where and when he wants to meet me. I think he wants to surprise you. And he does not want you to have your answer ready for him. Yes, Ode Jimmy is truly an experienced hunter. Ah, Do you know how lucky you are? Do you know how many men have paid attention to you in this village? I can count how many men in this village have made passes at me ever since I started growing my breast. But you, Lakbade wants to put gold on your neck, your wrist, and your hairs. Our Dada bring rich, beautiful gifts from the city. Who knows, maybe he'll finally take you to meet his white friend. And now, Ode Jimmy, from the famous Ogundele family of Agbede village, is dying to trap you down. Awero, hmm? you must have been born on a rainy day. You guys will talk all day. Oh, you want to finish the melon seeds? We are working, Mama. Then walk! We are working. We are working. Sleeping so early. I just want to rest my rough stomach. My my time. That is good. If you are not too tired, I want to show you something. Do you know that man talking to your father? I know him. He's a farmer in Agwede village. Do you also know why he is here in Orita village? To visit his in-laws, maybe. That and something else. I am not sure, but I think that man is talking to your father about you. About me? Yes. Your father has not told me anything yet. But I noticed the type of male visitors who have come from several villages to talk to your father about you. Those people have only been intermediaries. They have come to look at you for some young men in their village. But mother, are you sure about this? Ah, I'm almost sure and that is why I have come to whisper it in your ears. Awero. Woman already. At least your body states that clearly. It's bound to happen, whether now or later. I was not even up to your age when I married your father. And your two sisters, Adedara and Tomolara, they were just about your age when they married their husbands. At least you knew that much. Yes, mother. What do I say to father when he speaks to me about this? He won't speak to you. He will talk to me first. And together, when the time comes, we will talk to you. Understand? Now, go and lie down and sleep. If that stomach is still giving you some pains, in the morning, I will give you some herbs. Sleep well. Look at this shameless girl. I don't know what is it. Look at what Lakwe is doing. Are you just knowing Lakwe? Mm, but doesn't she care about all those rascal boys who come to spy nakedness at the stream? Forest is full 
of boys and men looking at her. Shameless girl. I think she has a better body than any of us here. Eh, what? I am looking at you. I think you are jealous. We all know here that Lakwe's body is far better than yours. That is true. Yeah. Go and sit down. You know what, what about you? You are your flat photo. Ayaka's bottom is that flat. True. But you, we know what you do with your big bottom. <laughs> yes, who did we see last evening? Swinging our hips left and right as you walk past the men drinking palm wine by the other tree. What about you, Benji? What about you? You what, think what? I did not see you in the last market there at Shagwe Market? In the tailor's shop. Tailor's, what did she do? Tailor's. in the tailor shop for two hours. She forced the man to measure her big chest up and down, uh -huh. side to side, uh -huh. and up and down again. Uh -huh. You should have seen the tailor. Uh -huh. He was sweating like a fish. Meju! Meju! I didn't have anything to ask Tony. I think I've forgotten that she comes from the family of Tony. Yeah. 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 I'm not telling Tony. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Well done. Akewali, what is the problem? Uh, Why do you look like this? You go and wait for us there. Akewali, I said what is the problem? Uh, Come, let's sit in the farm shed and have some pan wine. Okay. I will sit down, but I won't take pan wine. Problems are there for people to solve. What is it? You saw my same in the yard of government tax collector last week. The whole village saw it. Hmm. Lawi, hmm? we grew up together in this village. We became men together. Did you see me to be a lazy man? Hmm. Nobody in his right senses will call Akwali a lazy man. Thank you. The pine trees in my farm including the two farms I inherited from my father. All the trees is either dead or dying now. Is that so? Has the soil turned so bad? All the palm front simply die and fall down from the trees. And how do you weave baskets and make blooms without palm fronts? Ah, exactly. That is why I come to you. I have decided to go to the market to go and sell my basket in the city by myself. All those customers, they were killing us. They bought one basket for one shillings and they are selling it at the market for ten shillings at the city. Ten shillings? Oh, go! Ah. Look, Baba Adauda, since the time he has left this village, have you ever seen him to come and visit us here? And the few times he has come home, look at the kind of clothes and shoes he wore. Even Dauda, his son, they say he now works in a big office with white men, making big money in the city. Oh. That is what I'm saying. My children are growing fast. Mm. And all the children like to go to the city because of Dauda. That is good thinking. So, that is why I come to you. Please, I want to use the, the palm front of your tree here to make basket. And we will agree on some money. I will pay you after the sales. What do you say? <laughs> what do I say? You are behaving like a woman, Akinwali. Uh -uh. Yes, like a woman. So this is what you came to meet me in the farm for. I thought it was something serious. Uh -uh. Look, I am a pan wine tapper, Akinwali. What do I need pan fronts for? If you want to cut all the pan fronts here right now, they are all yours. Oh, Lord, do marry you. Thank you. What is the meaning of that? I said my pan fronts are yours. You start prostituting like a small child. Now I can take some pan wine. <laughs> now you are talking. 
and call a journey to drink too. Mm. Mm. We just said he's fast becoming a man. Yeah. Let him begin to taste the drink of elders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ajani, 